Welcome back to Sally Face. Remember last time we got back to the apartments, they told us to look around or something and uh, and then go meet at Todd's house so we can try and figure out this lunch meat situation. And it's kind of cool that we're back here at the apartments. I don't know what this is going to be like. Mrs. Rosenberg. This is that old lady. Oh my gosh. She talked so long last time. Do you remember? Let's see what she has to say this time. Oh, hello, dear Sally. You sound tired. Are you okay? Yes, yes, I'm quite fine. I was just a bit distracted by my thoughts. You know me. Did you finish that book you were reading? I did. You seem to be enjoying it. What's wrong? You didn't like the ending? Most story endings are a lie. We tell ourselves to create a false sense of hope. This freaking woman is a bum. She's a bum out. She's a Debbie Downer. What do you mean? There are no happy endings in real life, Sal. We all get the same terrible ending. Death. She needs to put some shoes on. She'll feel a lot better. You can't know that for sure, Rose. And even if that were true, doesn't that make life even more precious? It's our one chance to shine as brightly as we can before the long night claims us. That's a good attitude. That's why I try to live the best life I can, just in case it's the only one I get. Not for you, my boy. Huh? Oh, never mind, child. I admire your optimistic view of life. It's something I had lost long ago, I'm afraid. What did she mean, not for us? We have more than one life? Take care of yourself, Sally. She knows, this lady knows something. I also remember last time we had that ghost detector thing when we used it in the room with her, she like freaked out. Oh, Miss Gibson. What do you want, Sal? I just wanted to see how you were doing. I may be old, but I could take care of myself. Thank you very much. Let's ask her again. What is it now? I wanted to tell you that if you ever needed someone to talk to, you let me know. I mean, I know you're a strong, capable woman, but just in case, that's all. Uh, what do you think I am? Some helpless weak, I, I mean, well, thanks, Sal, but I'm fine on my own. Now, if you'll excuse me, I am freaking knocking again. I better not bother her anymore. Gosh dang it. Yeah, that lady's mean. She's a mean lady and she doesn't like me, which makes me want to make her like me. Here's Mr. Addison. Oh, you can buy the tea now. 25 cents for tenants. Good evening, Sally. How are you on this fine day? Hey, Mr. Addison, I'm good. How are you? I'm swell, young sir. Uh, you like that new sign there? I love it. Thanks to you and Larry, it almost feels like I have my own little tea house. I do miss giving out my tea to tenants. However, I simply couldn't afford to keep up with that. I'm glad you like it, and I think it's totally reasonable to charge for the tea. Everyone understands. That's wonderful to hear. Uh, any new tenants lately? I'm afraid not. Though we do have someone coming to look at a room next week. So hope is on the horizon, I suppose. I'm sure your luck will improve soon, Terrence. And if there's anything you ever need help with, don't hesitate to ask. That's very kind of you, Sal. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. Remember, we found out last time that he, uh has like severe anxiety and that's why he doesn't leave that room no one lives in 104 this is the front door here's the mailbox i think charlie's is a taped up one henry fisher henry fisher henry fisher junk junk oh hey sal fisher there's a letter for me no return address on it that's weird it's an empty envelope what the heck get, you probably just got anthrax buddy i'll get dad's mail later okay uh okay which which house is it right here that's 204 is like stuffed full of mail i wonder if that's our house I can never remember what my apartment is. We can't leave. Let's go upstairs a little bit. <laughs> or should we go to the basement first? Maybe I'll go to the basement first and then work my way up. I didn't mean to not- I did not mean- Stop. Get out of my face. I didn't mean to, Mr. Addison. I don't even have money for your freaking tea. Yeah, we got the key card. Okay, so let's check everything down here. The lost and found is over here, but we can't do anything. That's where we found that locket last time. Can't do anything here. The vending machine's still empty for some reason. Here's Larry's house, right? Yeah, yeah, he's got a pizza. Ooh, let me eat that. Larry's room, is he in here? He hasn't painted anything today. Odin's blood. I did notice that his ghost, not a good time to go outside. Larry's ghost that we see. That genuinely scared me so bad. Yeah! Wow, thanks for that, you freaking game. Good god, they did that on- <laughs> They definitely did that on- Flowers? Is she okay? Looks like Lisa got a bouquet of flowers from someone. There's a note. It says, get well soon, wishing you the best, Henry. Who is Henry again? Why don't I remember who Henry is? I hate that I can't remember this stuff. So Lisa is Larry's mom and she is single, so I mean. I think Larry's in there, hon. Occupado, dude! Wait, did Lisa say that? I think Harry's in there. Oh, I'll keep it. So is Lisa over here? Hey, oh, she's fixing the sink. She looks like she's not feeling all the way better, huh? Hiya, Sal. How are you today? I'm okay. How have you been feeling? 
Didn't the doctor say to take it easy for a while? Yeah, she's got a crutch right here. Oh, I'm just fine, sweetie. Don't you worry about me. Besides, we've got problems with the plumbing that need my attention. Mrs. Ad Mr. Addison has enough on his plate to worry about. I can't keep lying around all day. Is there anything we can help with at least? Dude, don't bother trying to talk sense to my mom. You know she's even more stubborn than me. Oh, hush, my little lair bear. Mom, don't call me that. <laughs> oh, you love it. Anyways, I appreciate your offer, Sal, but I can handle a little plumbing work. It's really no problem. Plus, moving around some will do me good. If you say so, just don't push yourself too hard, okay? And if you need any help, let us know. You got it, bud. Thanks, Sal. I'm such a good boy. I'm such a good... Oh, uh, what's wrong with the plumbing? There's some kind of goop clogging up our pipes. It's weird. The same thing happened a few years back, too. No idea where the stuff comes from, but once I get all the pipes cleaned out, we should be good to go. Interesting. I wonder what that is. And there was, uh, there was some green goop leaking out of the cabinet downstairs I saw as well. Or we are downstairs. The cabinet outside. Oh, poor Mr. Addison. He's a kind soul, but I'm afraid he's a bit of a frail man. With everything going on, we should do our best to keep him optimistic. He may put on an upbeat attitude, but he's so stressed lately that he's crying himself. How does she know what he's... How does she know that he's crying himself to sleep at night? That's interesting. Larry, let me in the bathroom. I gotta take a poopy. Okay, so let's get the frick out of here, please. I'm good on that. We can't go outside. That's not where you go outside anyways. See, look over here. Look at this cabinet. I'll show you. See the bottom right corner? It's gooping. It's gooping. What could this mean? Floor two, please. We're gonna work our way all the way up. Two is where my house is, right? I don't remember which one. Here's Todd. Oh, no, no, wait, wait. No, we need to leave. Todd's house is gonna start something in motion. We don't need to go there yet. No one's home in 201. That's not the one. Is that the one that had all the construction before? There was some room that always had construction. No one ever did move into 203. I guess Addison's having trouble getting new tenants. 203 was Charlie's place. Oh, no, this is Charlie's old place. What can we do in here this time? There's a bathroom. There's a kitchen. Dark, freaking scary kitchen. Ain't nothing over here. Man, that smell is still lingering. I'm definitely not going in there. I wonder if Charlie's ghost is in there. Wait, is Charlie even dead? Charlie went to jail. But then it turned out he didn't go to jail. Remember, we saw the record of the guy who went. We saw like a, a police photo of him and it wasn't even Charlie. So I'm not going to Todd's place yet. I want to check out every floor first. Here's David's place. Oh, freaking David. I've never been in your house. Is that your wife? He said he had a wife. That's definitely not his wife, right? Hey, Shannon Face, what are you up to today? Uh, hey, David. Not too much. Just got home from school. I thought you was on a break. The college students are on break right now, but our break doesn't start till the end of the month. Oh, gotcha. How have you and Sarah been? You know, a couple of love spots is as happy as can be, right, babe? Yeah, that's a mannequin, my guy. <laughs> oh, honey, don't make me blush in front of our friend. <laughs> love you and Steve, babe. Uh, what's that? <laughs> yeah, Sal, we've been having some trouble sleeping anymore. You know, it's funny because I think it's those college kids are on break. I guess we kind of got used to that noise that they make over there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, they only have a couple more days of break, so everything should be back to normal soon. That's great news. Great news indeed, Sally Face. Hey, Sally Face, what you up to? I, I just, oh, we had this entire conversation already, and I wish it would not make us have the same conversation twice. I really hate this, and I wish it would have just had a one-liner. Can't go anywhere in David's house. Can we, we can't talk to Sarah? Nope. Boy, that is uh, not a real woman. But you know what? He's found happiness, and who am I to judge? College students on break, so ain't nobody here. Still a camera up there. Let's check the other way in Sally face. Oh, hey Chug, you look concerned. What's the matter, bud? What's wrong? I keep hearing creepy noises. Uh, like what kind of noises, Chug? You know, creepy kinds like scratching and moaning and stuff. Maybe it's just some mice in the walls or the building creaking. It's an old building, man. Mice? That's not any better. I bet it's nothing, man. You want to hang out with me and the other guys? No, no, it's okay. Thanks, though. I can tell you guys are up to something again. Last time I came with, I couldn't sleep for a week. Uh, yeah, I was supposed to tell you. Megan said she's sorry for scaring you. She is very sweet once you get to know her, but you kind of bolted right when she came out. Remember, Megan is the little girl ghost from upstairs. I know. I mean, I bet she's nice. I tried. It's just too scary. Yeah, it's okay. You're a wuss. If you don't want to be alone, you're always welcome to come hang with us. I know. Thanks, Sally Face. Uh, why are you standing here? I'm waiting for my parents to get home. They should have been back already. Is there anything I can do, bro? You got any chocolate? <laughs> chocolate always makes me feel better. No, sorry, fatty. I don't have any freaking chocolate for you. Gosh. Dang it, man. Get outside and go do some jumping jacks. Wait. 
I knocked on this door and it came open? Hello? Was anyone home? I could have sworn someone lived here. Yeah, we knocked on the door and it swung right open. I don't know if I like this. Oh, it's very... They don't know. No one lives here. There's not even an oven. A stove. Nothing over here. Ooh, I'm getting freaked out by this room. I don't like it. They don't even have a bath. What? How do they not have a bathroom? Oh, that scared me. That camera movement freaking scared me. Something's going to go on with 304. I didn't I didn't like that. I don't know if you felt that. I got kind of goosebumpy while we were in there. I just did not I did not like that. It scared me. Here's my house. Let's check everything out in here. Haven't talked to my dad in freaking forever. Here's my room. Is my cat in here? There's the gear boy. Hey, we got the gear boy back. Meet in 202. Super gear boy. Todd modified my gear boy. So now we can use this thing again, right? Can I play the games on it still? You can't play games on it this time. Interesting. We've, we've got this thing again, strange metal object, similar to Jim's puzzle box, which was in the treehouse, but it won't let me go up to the treehouse yet. And that's our basement key card. So now I can use this anytime. Heck yeah. And there's a teacup. We might need that. Let's look at it real quick. Teacup for Addison C. I'm supposed to keep it for refills. Okay. Okay. There's my electric guitar that sounds like an acoustic guitar. That's cute. Vampire Hunter B. I'm about that life. That's Buffy the Vampire Slayer reference right there. I like that. Uh, oh, I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Sorry, bless you. Bless me. Some, something's under the bed right here. Something under the bed. What is this? What was it? It's an old photo of mom. I thought dad threw them all away. Hi, mom. I miss you. I hope that you're at peace. There's a handwritten note on the back. Henry. You are my sunshine. Wait, Henry's my dad? That means my dad was going sniffing around Larry's mom? Me and Larry could be brothers. That'd actually be pretty tight. Never mind. I'm not even mad. Henry, you are my sunshine in the darkness. I can't believe we're going to have a little boy. I'm so unbelievably happy. Everything is perfect. Love you always, Diane. Oh, that's actually really sad. He put it back under the bed. I wonder, is our mom's ghost in here somewhere? You think? Dad's computer. Dad's computer is on, but I don't know his password. Maybe I could figure it out. Uh, oh, it's numbers. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what I would even try. I don't have any, any, any even an inkling of what to try. But uh, I bet we can find it and come back. Why does it do? This game and it's freaking repeating dialogue. If you accidentally click on something you've already clicked on, it sucks you into reading it all again. It's so annoying. So we can gear boy this time. I probably need to gear boy all around. Nothing over here. Need to be gear boying all around. See what we can find out here. Where's my cat? I miss my cat. Is he in the bathroom? Ah! <laughs> that freaking scared me for some reason. I'm sorry. Gizmo's taking a bath. Oops, sorry, Gizmo. Didn't realize you were in here. Does it do that every time? <laughs> the cat the cat is awesome. He takes baths and stuff. Sally face. Sal, I had to go back into work again tonight. I'll be home late. There are some leftovers in the fridge if you don't eat with Lisa and Larry. I'm sorry I haven't been available much lately. Maybe we can go to something this weekend. Love, Dad. Okay. Okay. No gear boy action in here. I bet you the little ghost hotspots aren't active yet. I bet we have to, like, unlock something. Maybe go to the 202 before that happens. Uh, Robert's place. Let's check this out. Oh. Do I know Robert? Do we know Robert? Maybe I know Robert. Oh, I don't know Robert. How you doing, Robert? Yo, what's up, little bud? Oh, not much. Just a typical day. That bad, eh? <laughs> How have you been, man? Everything is straight, my man. Can't complain. How's business going? Business is great. What is it that you actually do? I sell crack cocaine. <laughs> oh! Ha! <laughs> nah, I'm just effing with you, bud. When my granddad passed, he left everything to me. Whoa, was he a millionaire or something? Nah, but it was enough money to start up a little business I had brewing in the old noggin. I tripled that money within a year. From there, the company just kept growing. Now I barely do anything. Just check up, uh, show up once in a while to check in and do meetings and crap. That's about it though. It's a pretty tight gig. 25 and practically retired. Gosh, that sounds awesome. I wish I could do that. Seems like you worked hard to get there though. You better believe it. Busted my butt up until things took off. Just wish my pop was here to see my success. I bet he'd be so proud of you, ma'am. That's a huge accomplishment. Not many people could pull that off. Thanks, little bud. What's with that safe? Yeah, there's money all on the floor around it. I don't trust banks with my money. Or big corporations at all, really. Don't you own a big corporation? Well, yeah. But that's different. That belongs to me. Uh, why do you live here? Yeah, if you're so rich. I mean, you could afford to live anywhere. 
Why live in this cheap apartment room with hardly any furniture? I got all I need right here. Why do I need a big house filled with fancy things? Can't take that crap with you when you're dead, right? It's just extra weight, weighing you down. I like to lay low, live my life doing what I like. Go wherever, whenever. No strings attached kind of lifestyle, you feel me? Yeah, I do. I think that's cool. I don't know what I'd do without my TV and video games though, man. Ha, <laughs> well you gotta do you, little bud. Everyone's different. This guy's, I like this guy, dude. I wish I could be rich so that I could live like that. Does that make any sense? I wish I could be rich so that I could live the same way. Like, I really don't think we would live somewhere super crazy nice or anything. We just save the money for our kids that we have and stuff like that. Let's check out floor five real quick. This floor is currently being renovated. Oh, I like this song. 503 is locked. 504 is open. There's a freaking Ouija board in here? Get. Even with the spirit board, never, Megan never comes out when Todd and Ash are up here. I think she's shy around strangers. Here's that where that homeless guy was. Feels more peaceful in the building since we got rid of that demon. They boarded it back up though, which is strange. I wonder why they boarded that back up. We, we, we pulled the stuff off of that last time. All right, I can't do anything with the gear boy. Let's see if Megan's in here. Oh, Megan. Megan's necklace is there. Even though she can't wear it now, she's happy to have it close by. Oh, here we go. And we can contact her with the gear boy. Hey, Megan. Hi, Sally Face. Hey, Megan. Have you seen my daddy anywhere? Uh, no, sorry, I still haven't seen him. Remember last time, her dad is like the mean demon, and uh, Larry came in clutch and saved us right before something really bad happened, and I think we banished her dad or something. Oh, maybe he's passed on to a better place. I guess that's not so bad. Everybody here isn't so scared now, too. Even Mommy started talking to me a little. That's great, I'm glad she's finally speaking to you. Me too, <laughs> I hope that Daddy is happy wherever he is. I'm sure that he is, Megan. Oh, I forgot. Mommy told me she would play hide-and-seek. I gotta go. I'll see you later, Sally boy. Okay, Megan. I'll see you. Have fun. Okay, I was watching that mirror because last time we saw her dad in the mirror for a second. So, oh, and we can't bring her back now. Interesting. So last time, her mom was here. Her mom, uh, last time was in this room. But this time it's boarded up and we can't go in there, which kind of sucks. So let me see what's going on out here. This place is, I mean, how would they have not renovated this yet? It's so spooky. This place is the spookiest. I have the goose bumps on my skin elbows. 502, we can go in here. Oh, maybe this is where her mom was. Never mind. I think this is where her mom was. Yeah, here's the bird cage. I wonder if this is related to the skull and Mrs. Packerton's. It's a good question. Very well could be. Wherever the mattress is, right? Did I hear something different? I guess not. I thought I heard something different when I walked over there, but I guess I made it up. So there's nothing, nothing at all in there. Interesting. Okay, I could have sworn there would have been something at least. Which one is this? 501? We can go in here too. Okay. What is this on the wall? Who's been doing this? There's an old newspaper clipping nailed to the wall. It's about a boy who shouldn't be alive, who survived on accident that killed both of his parents. The front page of an old newspaper, father and son go missing. It says they vanished without a trace, leaving the mother broken and alone in what was once a happy family's home. Woman and her child abducted by aliens. This has to be one of those joke papers. And then there's a missing one right here. There's a nail, but there's nothing there. Okay, I'm gonna look around with the gear boy real quick. I'm getting kind of, ooh, getting spooked. Let's do it. Who is this gonna be? Is it gonna be the mom? No, 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 something appeared. It's a letter with my name on it. It's empty, am I missing something? Yeah, where's he putting all these? That's so weird. Okay, so it looks like there is going to be stuff going on with the gear boy. Before we even go check in with those guys, I kind of want to go back down. No, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get that crazy. Let's go to floor two and go where we're supposed to go. I was going to go through the whole building with the gear boy again, but I don't feel like editing it out. So let's just go to Todd's place. Hey guys, where are y'all? That's Todd's parents' room. This is Todd's room. Let me do a sweep with my old... My gear boy. Oh, hey, Todd's parents who I've never met. Hi, Mrs. Morrison. Hey, Sally, are you boys off to another adventure? <laughs> Something like that. I think that's just so wonderful. Life is filled with potential adventures and beautiful mysteries that are just waiting to be explored and experienced. You are a freaking hippie. You're totally right about that. Yeah, I just gotta seize the moment, though. Sometimes it's nice to relax on the couch after a long day, you know? Ray and I were just watching some television. He passed right out like a little boy. <laughs> Isn't he the cutest? Yeah, I, I mean, I guess so, but you guys don't have a TV. Yeah, isn't it so nice without all that noise? 
Yeah, I better get going. Yeah, they're high. They smoke of the weed. They've partaken of the peace pipe, and now they're watching a TV that is not there. There is no TV there at all. Let's check out their kitchen right quick. Also, I haven't seen anybody else's pipes backed up with that goop except for Larry's. I wonder if there's a gear boy, a gear boy event down there. Let's check out Todd's room. Well, Todd's parents' room. Can't go in there. They lock the door while they're home. That's strange. What's up, dudes? Sally Face said, hi, bot. Oh, is that the fish? I was trying to talk to Larry, but okay. What's up, guys? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I've tapped into the security cameras and we'll be able to, f to loop footage off the empty hallway until you get back. Be careful. Wait, aren't we going into her apartment? Wasn't that it? Yeah, we're going into Mrs. Uh, 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 Harrison or something, whatever her name is. Got it. All right, we're picking her lock. Nice. We should go quick before she gets back. Because remember, we found out she's making the bologna in her house and we want to see what's really going on here. What have we been eating at the school? What is all this bologna? Dude, smells like button here. Button old feet. Good lord, we better make this a short visit. I can't take that stench for too long. Check out that painting. What if Packerton really does work on a farm? I don't know, man. That painting gives me a weird feeling. Like a cold chill. Whoa, yeah, I feel it too. Let's look around real quick. I'm checking with my gear boy real quick as well. There's her bedroom. It's super locked. Some weird mechanism on the doorknob. There's a clock. The clock hands are stuck at 314. If I try to move them, they go right back. Okay, help me remember 314. There's something with that. This bedroom's locked as well. Okay, okay, okay. 314. We gotta remember that. I probably don't have too long in here. The radio. It's a neat old radio, but it won't turn on. It must be broken. There's a photo up there. It's a photo of herself. Diapers. There's a big thing of diapers. Do you think Mrs. Packerton uses them for herself? Probably, dude. Packerton's ancient. That's kind of... That sucks. You hate to see that. Going in the bathroom. There's some goop in the tub right there. Look at it. When's the last time she cleaned this bathroom? Okay, so we have seen... There's a turd in the toilet. There's a big old log in there. Who fl Who does that? That better not be in the baloney. Okay, let's look at this fridge. Anything strange in the fridge? No. Looks like normal groceries and stuff, but... There's a padlock on the freezer. That's got to be where the baloney is. Can you get it open? Yeah, just give me a minute. All right, dude. Let me check over here. Is there anything in the trash? Wait, there's another freezer right here. It's filled with rolls of baloney, along with some frozen vegetables and other various foods. Nothing out of place, really. Yeah, but we need to see what the baloney's made out of, man. I need to know. Larry got it. He got it. He got it. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Go. What's in here? All right, let's open it up. Oh, it's a dead goat. Oh, and there's like pentagrams and stuff. What? So she's making it out of goat meat? I knew it. Why would she keep the heads? And that's like the skull that was in her desk, maybe? Or was it a bird skull? It was a bird skull. It is goats. I effing called it, man. Also gross. I feel like it can't be that simple. Let's see if we can get into those bedrooms. All right. Should I look in here again? One. Okay, hold on. 1047. 1047. Okay, hold on real quick. We need to remember 314 and we, we need to remember 1047. So I am going to start a new note on my phone and I'm going to do 3 314 and 1047. Okay, we're not forgetting this stuff. I'm not messing this up. Let's go. There, wait, there's a blood stain. Was this. Was that stain there a second ago? I don't remember that. I feel like I don't remember it. Maybe I'm crazy. Nothing's changed over here. Bedroom is still locked. There's some weird mechanism. Oh, we're trying to get into this one first. This is a bizarre lock, dude. Not sure if I can pick it, but I'll keep trying. Okay. I'm going to keep looking around here. There's a bizarre mechanism. Can't do anything with the clock. There's got to be something going on out here. The radio is still broken. I'm just looking around. There's somebody's paper with an F on it. Go back in the bathroom real quick. Nothing different to do in here. Did, wait, did I did I gear boy in here? I guess I did look that towels all falling apart too. Oh, what is going on in this place, man? Oh, oh, right here, right here, right here. What is this? Are we gonna see what happened? Oh, it's the ghost of the goat. The ghost. Um, hi, little buddy. Bah, bah. <laughs> okay, you guys don't need me to make that sound because it's already. So we got to see the ghost of the goat. What in the hell was that? A ghost goat, apparently. That probably shouldn't be surprising to me at this point, but I definitely did not see that coming. So can I do it again? 
Let's let's pull him back again and see if there's something we're supposed to notice about him. Did I miss? No, his body is, I mean, kind of fat. He has that 1047, but it's not showing us that. Hey there, Mr. Goat. So he just buys. I don't see any clues other than that his freaking head's been cut off. Okay. Well, that happened. I'm glad I came back and saw that. I could have very easily have missed that. I feel like you don't even have to have the Gear Boy by this point. Wait, the radio's on now. Wait, 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 wait. 1047. I put it on 1047, nothing happened. 314 and 1047 are the only... Wait, wait, wait. I put it on 1047. Let's go back and talk to the goat. Maybe this will do something. Come on. Come on, buddy. It's got to do something. This has got to do something. Do you like that music? Do you like it? Hey there, Mr. Go... It's the same. It's completely the same. Let's check... Let's check the fridge. 1047 pentagrams, four pentagrams. <sighs> I'm allergic to puzzles. Okay, I'm gonna put it on 1047 and see if maybe this weird mechanism's open now. It's locked, some weird mechanism. What about the clock now? Wait, wait, wait. Can I do 1047 on this? Uh, 1047. Did that do anything? No, it didn't. All I have is 314 and 1047. That's it. Dang it. I need to know what's going on. Bizarre lock, dude. I'm not sure if I can pick it. All right, so we just need... Uh, I don't know what time to set it to, man. Do we need to set these two to the same? Maybe now... Hold on. I'm going to check the goat one more time. Maybe now that I set the time and the radio to the same thing, maybe now it'll do something. Please. Please, dude. Goat. I am, I've done so many numbers for you. Oh my gosh. Full disclosure, I got extremely stuck on this, and so I looked up somebody else's playthrough. The answer is 12-12. I don't understand how we were supposed to know that, but we were, I guess. I don't understand why. If you want to enlighten me in the comments, I'd love it. Why would 12-12 work? Then unlock the first bedroom. Let's check it out. What's going on in here? Oh, freak. There's someone in here. Oh my god. It's an old man. He's strapped down. Hello? Uh, Mr. Packerton? Hello? I don't think he hears you, dude. You're right. Looks like he's in some kind of vegetative state. Man, this is effed up. Definitely where that rancid smell is com coming from, too. Yuck. Let's get a quick look around and then get out of here. Okay, we got some newspapers. All these papers are talking about the death of Mr. Packerton. If he's dead, then who's laying in that bed? What I want to know is why... What I want to know is why the heck are there so many crap-filled diapers in here? Like, seriously. I know what you mean. This apartment's making me super nauseous. You don't think she uses the... No, never mind. I don't even want to think about that, dude. I think if the mystery ingredient was human crap, Todd would have seen some signs of that in the lab, right? I guess so. Honestly, I got no idea, man. Let's just hurry up in here. Okay, let me look at the... Can't look at the diapers. Let's look at the machine. Are you Mr. Packerton? Blink if you can hear me. Hello? He doesn't even blink? How about... Let's do this. Maybe this will work. Oh, his ghost comes out of him? Whoa, ghost of Mr. Packerton. Young child, please help me. How can you... Are you dead? I am in between, suffering for what seems like an eternity. Did Mrs. Packerton do this to you? We were in love once, or so I thought. Yes, this is her doing. Please, you must help me escape. Oh, we're totally unplugging him. We are unplugging this guy. What's in the baloney, man? Baloney? I'm afraid I don't know much about that. This room is my prison, my tomb of infinite sorrow. I can never leave in this state. How can I help you? You must unplug this horrid machine. In that? would not that? It will end my suffering. It'll free me of this torment. But are you sure? Please, child, I beg of you. You must hurry before she returns. Oh no, we gotta choose. I think absolutely we should we should pull the plug on this guy. I mean, look at what state he's in. Who wants to live like this? He let him go. Pull the plug. Pull it. Pull it. He's dead. He died. He has died. I hope that was the right thing to do. You didn't have a choice, man. The poor guy was in so much pain. It's what he wanted. Yep, he literally asked us. Yeah, I guess so. I just... She's back. Quick, behind the dresser. Oh my god, this is not good. If we don't... 
Yeah, man. If we don't make it out alive, I... I love you, dude. I love you too, man. You're the best friend I've ever had, you know? Can you guys stop talking? She's here. Same to you, little bud. She's coming in here. She's gonna find... Ooh. Oh, no. It's gonna be someone else. <laughs> it's Ash. Hey, sorry to ruin the moment, but what the hell is this place? Ashley, you scared the crap out of us. I can see that. <laughs> man, am I glad to see you, Ash. I thought we were done for. I thought you had to watch Benjamin. My dad came home early, so I rode straight away. Sorry for giving you guys a scare. Is that Mr. Packerton? Is he... It was him. He's gone now. He's finally at peace. Dang. And please don't tell me this is what's going into the baloney. I hope not. I'm not sure. There's still one room we haven't looked in yet. We need to get in there before we leave. Oh, check this out. While we were hiding, I found the key ring under the dresser. It's, oh, what the frick? One of these keys has to open the other bedroom. Let's check it out. Anything to get out of this room. Let me make sure real quick that the gear boy doesn't do anything. Nah, he's just freaking dead. He's gone. No other gear boy stuff in here. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. How do we open this one? What kind of puzzles are this? Oh, okay, we just got the key. Beautiful. Oh, the mother load. This is gonna be what's going on. What in the... Oh my god. Look at all these missing people posters. We're eating people in the baloney. Hello. This can't be good. Oh, man. It's a ton of missing people stuff. Here's all her freaking freezer. Let's check this out. Another dang combo lock. Uh, 314. It was stuck on 314, but this doesn't have a zero. So there's no way to do 314 or 1047. So I don't even... I don't have any idea on that one. We can't look at the tools. It's like some kind of slaughter factory in here. Let's see. Come on. There's got to be something. Wait. But look at this on the wall. It's a... It's a, a Morse code. So let's look at the freezer. There's Morse code right there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to have to learn Morse code real quick. Are you freaking kidding? I got it. Hex, yeah, man. Hex, yeah. Bye. Let's find out. Oh my... What's this gonna be? Oh! That's- we've been eating this, dude! Oh, Larry puked. We're- we're in way over our heads here, guys. We need to get help. Dude, we're so dead if she comes home. Sally face. There are no bones. What? There aren't any bones in here, it's all just... Meat! Oh my god. Dude, no. Come on. Oh, puke in there. It's already gross. Ah, oh, he could have just puked in there. Ash is right. We should get help, man. Don't you see? There's no one who can help us. Every time something happens here, it's covered up. The cult, Luke, Charlie, Miss Sanderson, who knows what else this place is hidden. We can't trust the cops, and we can't tell our parents because they'll want to go to the police. They haven't believed anything we've ever told them about. Then what do we do? I don't know, man. Things just keep getting worse. Packerton's chopping people up and serving them to... I don't think I'll ever look at baloney the same way again. Oh, that's freaking disgusting. Oh no, don't be the end. Don't be the end. So that's why he doesn't like baloney. This all, remember, this is all the story of why he doesn't like baloney. Well? Well, what? You asked why I don't need the baloney, and I've told you why. Of all the fantastical stories you like to spin, you're really not going to tell us what happened next? Why bother? You probably don't believe what I've set up until now, anyways, and the story just gets more unbelievable from this point. Plus, you're probably going to cut it up and make me sound like a lunatic on TV. Give us the rest of this story, and we'll air it in its entirety, without cuts, I promise you. Really? I heard you mention Todd Morrison's name before we started. Did you visit him too? They won't tell me anything here. Yes, we shot a segment on him yesterday. Is he okay? Is he still in the hospital? I'll tell you what, you finish that baloney story, and I'll tell you about Todd. So, are we going to get to keep going? Yes. Before we left Mrs. Packerton's room, Ash noticed something else. What's it going to be? Hey, guys, come look at this. Behind... Oh, my God, this girl's smart. There's some kind of trash chute hiding behind that painting. Oh, we're totally going down this. That's weird. This building doesn't have trash chutes. It doesn't look like it goes outside. There's no light coming in. Oh, I'm totally going down that. Be careful, Ash. I wonder where it leads. She's falling. Bye! 
Oh my gosh, she didn't. We gotta go after her. The problem is, what if we go after her and fall on top of her and break her back? Ash! Ash, are you okay? Ash! Oh no, no, no. This can't be happening, man. Please let her be okay. We have to find what this leads to. How are we? What are we? I'm gonna shimmy down. It's the only way. Dude, no! You're not thinking straight. What if you fall too? Or land on her? If she's still alive, I could kill her. See, that's what I was saying. I like Larry. I thought of that too. Just, I'll shimmy down real slow. It'll be okay. Okay, yeah, you're right. Let's think. The frick? Oh, here we go again. Another vision. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I can't read this one, man. It's not just backwards. It's scrambled. If anybody can read this one, let me know. I can't. I hate those. I feel like such an idiot when those come on. I can't tell what they say. I know where it goes. How? What? Never mind. Just go get Todd and meet me in the basement. Does it go to that locker in the basement? That'd be really small. What is going on, Sal? What did you see? Is Ashley all right? Everything's going to be okay. Come help me with this. Is it that locker? I feel like it's going to be that locker. What do you think? Yeah, there was a door behind that locker. No one has used this apartment in a long time. It's in rough shape, but Addison can't afford the renovations it needs. Just like the fifth floor. Is this what you saw in your vision, Sal? It doesn't work exactly like that. It's more like a feeling of heightened intuition. All right. I burped. You lead the way. Larry and I will offer support however we can. It's locked. Wait. One of those keys from Packerton's looked like the old apartment keys. Try that out. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot about those. Perfect. Perfect. There's nothing in here. Give me a minute to look around. So wait, what would happen if we had not gone and gotten the gear boy before all of this? I don't understand what could have even happened. There's a bedroom. Ain't nothing in it. I will check with the gear boy real quick. Like, I wonder if the game makes you go get the gear boy before you get to do anything. I feel like it might. Bedroom two. Freaking totally. Well, the carpet's all ripped up. The carpet's torn up here. It looks like, huh? Yeah, there's gonna be a trap door. What do you think? Come on, come on, show me. Guys, come check this out. Yep, trapdoor. <sighs> Dude, there must be an undocumented some basement level. It's definitely not in any of the blueprints that I've seen. Perhaps an old dirt cellar or something of the like. I had no idea this was here. The third key for Mrs. Packerton fits in this door. Ash must be down there. It's the only place the chute could lead. I didn't even get to finish looking around in there, man. Oh boy, let's go. Resident Evil loading screen right here, like that. Please no jump scare, thank you. <laughs> what? May our sight pierce the heavens, and may our reach be infinite and everlasting. This cult stuff is bad. <laughs> well, this looks bad. Incredible. This architecture must date back se multiple centuries at least. Centuries of blood and demon worship? This is freaky as hell, man. Everything's coated in a thick layer of dust which likely means the area is presently vacant and has been for- Oh, this is Todd's voice. I'm doing it wrong. Let's hope that the malevolent history of this place remains in the past. Yeah, well, we need to get through that gate somehow. There appears to be an absence of any obvious mechanisms to move the large gate. They must be built into the walls. It's likely that the apparatus for opening the gate is hidden. We better split up and search the room. Well, we obviously have to move this floor right here. Obviously. Let's see what we got here. There's a little pressure plate right here. Can't do anything. Here's a book. Examine this book. An old leather-bound book with a symbol of a goat's head on the cover. The text is written in another language, and the pages smell like rotten flesh. This book gives me an oddly strong sensation of deja vu. That's probably not great. Here's Todd over here in the freaking dark. It's a bit strange that a place like this has light bulbs. They must have been installed later on. Though, this green bulb in particular is fascinating. I've never seen a bulb quite like it. How do you turn it on? That's another mystery. There are no visible switches. I've looked all around this area. Hmm. Turn it on with the gear boy, duh. Every time. Got it. Okay, we gotta light all these up. Naturally. Is there anything over here? No, let's talk to Todd, see what he's got to say about that. Intriguing. These green lights seem to be a part of a larger system. Once activated, their energy is transferred into the floor below. Additionally, they must be harnessing the same type of energy the super gear boy emits, since you were able to trigger them with it. To trigger What do you think that means? To be honest, I'm not totally sure. This technology isn't like anything I've dealt with before. However, it is likely that these things were used for something supernatural. Perhaps to even summon the red-eyed demon. It's a good thing the cult isn't around anymore. The demon, too. After we find Ash, we should smash everything anyways, just in case. Actually, I'd like to study some of these things further. It may prove useful in some way. Actually, let's not, my guy. 
Sounds like a terrible freaking idea. Okay. Can't gear boy. I don't want this to open and trap me. I'm afraid of that. Okay, we can't do anything with this yet. I'm telling you, we're gonna summon this guy and it's gonna be a problem. What's with all the spikes? Like, dude, you can't turn around with stubbing your toe. Hurts like hell, too. Yeah, that's not good, bud. Here's another book. Blood is splattered across the page and burned across the bottom. Touch this makes me feel lightheaded, as if it's producing a strange energy. So this bulb is missing right here. Oh, it's right here on the floor. Grab that. Pick that up. Nice job, buddy bear. I want to look at it, though. It's a light bulb. Glass on this bulb is really thick and it has an odd smell. Yeah, that's not great. Okay, we're gonna, um, we're gonna put it, we're gonna put it on here. Put it up there, use the gear boy, hit it to it! This is not good. Dude, those little oblisic things just got bigger. Oh, they really did, they raised up. Scope it out! I bet we have to use that, uh, that weird thing we found in the desk to do this too. I wish you had something new to say. Stop talking! Okay, so let's see what we've got here. There's a lever here. Oh, snap, it's gonna be a puzzle. Can I do my gear boy here anywhere? No. So we can go back and forth on this thing. Gotcha. Well, hold on a sec. Let me just do this until it's lined up the way we want it to be lined up. There we go. Now we just pull the other one. Maybe one time, maybe a couple times. Let's see what it does. Oh, it turns them both. I don't necessarily love that. This is annoying. Oh, it's so close. Oh, it's so close. Okay, so we need to move this one. I don't know how many times we need to move it, but we need to keep on moving it until it hits it just right. Let's do it. Oh, I got it! Second try! And now there's stuff on the freaking floor. Butte. Does this do anything? No. Is this is a pressure plate? It sure is. Oh, it's open! This is bad, dude. If we get off, does it close? No. Okay, guys, I opened it. Gosh, dang it. Yeah, someone's gonna have to stay behind, man. Dude! What, are you trying to give me a heart attack? That scared the crap out of me. Sorry, I got the gate open for a second, but the switch won't stay down. Todd, can you come stand on this? Larry and I can go find Ash while you make sure we don't get locked in. Sure, I can do that. Thanks, Todd, you freaking bro. What a bro. I don't think Larry dies right here. Larry, because the ghost will not age after he's dead, and his ghost was bigger and had like a goatee and stuff. This is not when he dies. I'm not ready, but Ash is in there somewhere, so let's go. Be safe, you two. I don't want to lose anyone else down here. We'll be all right, man. This is not when anybody dies. Trust. Looks like there's two ways. We better split up. I was afraid you were going to say that. It's not a... This is not a good idea. Am I going to be Larry? Why do these things always happen to me? Yeah, I wanted to be Larry the whole game. I'm going to go this way. He doesn't have anything, does he? Oh, okay. I have a... My key card for the basement. Wait, wait, wait. ID number B10202, just in case we need that. I got a lighter. My dad's old lighter. I always thought it looked cool. I don't know why I still carry it around. I hardly ever use it. Guess I just like having a part of him with me. And a rock. I like this. It's like this weird stone I found on the ground. Nothing special about it. I just thought it was sweet, so I kept it. All right. I just wanted to know what stuff we have. Sound went that way. I need to go the other way. This is so stupid. Why would you... You ever find yourself in a situation like this? The last thing you do is split up. Just for the record. You don't do it. Let's go. I'm probably going to need the lighter here in a sec. Uh-oh. What's it showing me? Hope there's not anybody here. Crap, this place is like a maze. This place is amazing. Alright, there's door number one. Door number two. Uh, should we follow that sound or go away from it? I'm going to the sound. Maybe we follow the sound. That's got to be it. If it's follow the sound, then it's just like that one Game Boy game that we played last time. You remember? Here's the sound. This is awful. Better believe I would never do this. I made it. I made it. Heck yeah. The, another puzzle. This door's locked. Gotta figure out how to open the stupid gate. Okay. Stepping on these two. This one. Well, hold on. This can't be that hard because you have to be able to get back out. So. You know what I mean? 
How can this be a puzzle? There's no way to walk around them. Wait, have I ever gotten it to look like this yet? Ah, so close. Oh, what? Sure. <laughs> sure I did. Sure I did. No freaking clue how that worked. Sorry, you, the editing probably didn't help you solve that, but I got no idea what I did. So we'll follow the noise. The noise is coming from that one. I just kind of wanted to see if there was any Gear Boy stuff. There's more than one noise this time. We got a noise from this one. I feel like Larry walks faster. Okay, this time there's noise, though we probably got to follow the one with no noise. How much you want to bet? Watch this. Made it! Called it. Here's another book. An old book with a wooden cover. There's a solid black circle, circle carved into the front that's made from a different kind of wood. The frail green pages are covered in painted symbols. Can't make any sense of it, but it leaves a bitter taste. Alright, I know exactly what to do with this. We're going to put this thing in it. Oh, wait. I guess I was wrong. I could have sworn. We'll put the teacup on it. Okay. I, uh... Um... Okay, I officially don't know what to do with that. Like I thought, oh my gosh. Maybe this one's got the same solution. Wait, there's another door? There's a second door over here, so you can solve it two different ways? I feel like you can solve this one two different ways. Oops! Did it open this one down here? Nope, okay. Sure. Sure that happened. Maybe you get something from this room and come back and put it in the book. Okay, that's probably what's gonna happen. Let's go, let's go. Oh, we meet in the middle. Me and Larry both got here. Hey, good timing. I think we have to pull these levers at the same time to open that gate. We must have walked around in a big circle. The room behind that gate is the center of this place. It's the last room. Ash has to be back there. May our sight pierce the heavens. Okay, it says the same thing. Let's check this book over here first real quick in case there's a secret for us. An old book with a metal cover. This one has a symbol that almost looks like an hourglass. The pages are stiff, filled with a bizarre script. Looking at this is making me tear up. I can't help feeling a deep, unexplainable sadness. Oh, freak, buddy. This is... These guys are in so far over their head, but they're right that the whole town seems to be in on this and is covering up everything that has to do with it. There's no point in us even trying. What the freak is that? Please don't be something that kills me. Huh? What is this gonna do? Oh, I know exactly what it's gonna be for that little thing that we have. It's a perfect slot. This weird hex thing from Mrs. Packerton's desk is some kind of key. Oh man. Fantastic, I'm so glad we're doing this. Whoa. Not a good place to go, my guys. There's a pile of bones. That's gotta be where she just fell. That's where all the bones went. And there's more than one pile, which means there's more than one shoot, which means more than, more than one people are doing it. Holy crap balls. This is really bad. Ash? You here? Can we see some ghosties? No? We are the devourers of God, it said. It's told us that before. We saw that in the Game Boy game last time. It's another book ped pedestal, but this one has nothing on it. So we're probably gonna have to bring the right book in here or something. Nothing for me to do over here. Okay, I'll check with my gear boy on the way back. This is nuts, man. This is very not good. We still can't check these bones. There's still, there's more than, there's like four shoots. There she is. Oh, is she okay? Ash, Ash, are you okay? Ash, is she, she's still breathing, man. Come on, help me get her up. Is she gonna be alive? Is she okay? Huh? She's awake. Thank God. Uh, what's going on? Where, where are we? Dude, you fell down the stupid trash chute. I thought we lost you for good. I'm so glad we found you, Ash. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Just a little fuzzy and sore. No broken bones. Well, none of mine at least. Ah, she's cracking jokes. She must be okay. <laughs> Man, Ash, you wouldn't believe what we went through to find you. It's all thanks to Sally. He had one of those vision vision thingies, and then he found this old cellar door in the basement. Then we went down these long, creepy stairs. We found this crazy cult temple or some stuff down here. Then we were all these puzzles and traps and mazes and... Todd! Todd's holding the front gate open for us. We should go back there. Wow, this is so much to take in. I can't believe all this is right below the apartments. Thanks for coming for me. I don't know what I'd do without you guys. Is it really going to be that easy we can just walk out? Probably not. 
We did. Okay, never mind. So what are we going to do about all this? Miss Packerton killed a lot of people, and the baloney... Ugh. We can't just ignore this. Definitely not. Judging by what you guys have told me about the inner rooms of the temple, and about Mrs. Packerton's apartment, it could be possible she's gotten herself wrapped up in the occult as well. Even if the congregation is long since dissolved, she could have stumbled upon this door just as we have. Or maybe she's the last remaining member, trying to carry out whatever their plans were on her own. I don't think so. I think there's more people involved in this than we want to believe. Maybe even Sally's dad. You don't think she's trying to bring the red-eyed demon back, do you? Hopefully not, but we'll be prepared if she does. Man, we need to stop her. Preferably, like, before that happens. I know going to the police isn't an option. Maybe we should call the state police or the FBI or something. That's a really good idea. At least this time our parents can't deny what's happening. They'll help us once we show them what's below this building. Unless they're all in on it. Ash is right. We should get our parents involved this time. Maybe we should just kill her. What? Mrs. Packerton. Maybe we should kill her. She's old, so it shouldn't be that hard. Larry's crazy, man. We can't just kill someone, Larry. Then we'd be no better than her. Normally, I would be against harming others, but in this case, Larry might be right. Todd, Larry, seriously, you guys? Think about all the strange, unexplainable occurrences that happened in Addison Apartments and Knockville in general. The more I think about it, the less likely it becomes that Miss Packerton is acting alone. She must be getting outside help. It would explain the police cover-ups of Charlie and the Holmes family murders. There's no telling how far this corruption reaches. Gosh dang. I guess that makes sense. Sal, you were saying something similar earlier today, too. I don't know. Maybe this does fall on us. No, call the FBI, man! I guess the first thing the FBI would do is call the local police, though, you think? Maybe. You know, the biggest worries normal teenagers have are about petty things like being popular and having nice hair, which Larry totally does. Not us, though. We have to worry about saving the world, I guess. Oh, man. Are they really going to kill her? Surely not. We're going to find out next time, I bet. So, what happened? We decided to sleep on it. It was nearly morning anyways, and everyone was beyond exhausted. And the teacher? What did you decide? Did you go to the police? Didn't have to. Turns out Packerton got into a car accident on the way home that same night. She and the other driver were killed on impact. That's pretty sketchy. Wow, that's quite convenient. <laughs> you can look it up for yourself if you don't believe me. It was on the front page the next day. Beloved Knockville High high teacher killed by drunk driver. Well, there's a problem. She was high. I'm just kidding. I know what it means. Of course, you won't find anything about the dead bodies in her apartment or how she was feeding the students human flesh. That was all covered up. So does he get a bigger mask as he gets old? I'm sorry. My bad. I see. I don't care if you, if you don't believe me. It's the truth and you said you would air the full story. I feel like she won't. Don't worry, Sal. It'll be aired in full. I always keep my word, and I think the people will be very interested in what you have to say. Everyone is watching you now. You spoke with a great fondness about your friend Ashley. I understand that you two were very close. You even considered her one of your best friends, along with Larry Johnson and Todd Morrison. Is that true? <sighs> yes. Have you seen this? The Sally Face Killer. Trial today for mass murder, including entire family... Sources say that the prosecutor will call Ashley Campbell to testify against the Sally Face killer. Campbell is a longtime friend of Sally Face, and they were said to be very close in their high school years. Okay, so here's a picture of him that says Sally Face killer in chains where he should be. Ashley Campbell left and Sal Fisher right from high school. So this is what, finally, we know what he's locked up for. Mass murder, including his entire family, which means his dad died too. I think that they... The cult figured out what we were up to and came after us, killed everyone we, we love, mass murder, including our entire family, and then pinned it on us. It's got to be what happened. Oh, he's crying on it. How is she going to testify against me? How would she? What about Todd? You said you'd tell me about Todd. Oh, right, of course. Yeah, let's find out about Todd. We shot a segment on Morrison yesterday. He's still in the hospital after what happened that night. <sighs> he's still out of it. Unresponsive. Still not talking. So we couldn't have a conversation with him. We mostly spoke with his doctor. I'm sorry, Sal. Apparently Morrison hasn't shown any signs of improvement. In fact, his condition has been getting worse. They say that the damage he suffered that night is irreversible. Oh man, what happened to him? He doesn't know fantasy from reality and all he wants is to die. When he denied, when he is denied the release of death, he becomes extremely violent. I, I need to help him. Somehow. I need to help him. Even the doctors and trained professionals haven't been able to help Todd. How do you suppose you'll be able to? Because I know the truth. 
I know what really happened. I know what's wrong with Todd. Maybe they'll let us go talk to him. He's gonna open his eyes. It's gonna be scary. Ah! His eyes were red. Red-faced demon is in Todd. That's what happened to Todd. I don't know how it happened to Todd. And I also hate that I called that jump scare and it still scared me. I didn't think it was gonna be like that. I thought it was gonna be like, he opens his eyes and it's freaky, not a freaking jump scare. Okay, well, there was chapter three of Sally Face. I hope you enjoyed it. I truly, truly love this game. Uh, probably, I'm guessing a very unedited style video, but this game does not need a ton of edits. We don't need the memes, guys. Not on this game. This game is so good, we don't need to stand on the crutch of memes. Join me. Join me. Thank you guys so much for being here. Leave your theories on what you think happened to Todd down in the comments. Personally, pretty sure it's the red, a red-eyed demon is in him somehow. Don't know how. We got mixed up in something, obviously. But do love you guys. Thanks for being here. Make sure you hit all the little YouTube buttons at the bottom. Make sure you unsubscribe because I've got way more subscribers than people who watch my videos. Got him! And as always, have a bye five. If I forgot to edit that out, I apologize. I'm gonna do this, so maybe Editor Yub will see it and, chip and, and uh, trim it out, but if I didn't, I'm so sorry.